What's up guys, my name is Bar Komar, and a couple of months ago I entered the Rockler Bentwood Challenge and I made a wooden bike, yep, a wood bike. Um, I put a lot of really cool features into the bike to include the seat, but I didn't get a chance to show you guys how I made the seat in the video. So today we're gonna do that. We're gonna go ahead and go through the steps and processes that I took to actually make a seat, a wooden seat out of a slab of wood and have some fun. So let's get to it. Welcome to the Komar Project. I started off with a leftover piece of some Live Edge silver maple that I had laying around. And I glued a top view of a bike seat that I found online to it. I liked the slit that it had in the middle, which I thought would help with the weight of the seat and it kind of looked cool. Then over at the bandsaw I cut the top view out and then needed to cut the side profile. It's kind of difficult to do it with it not having a flat reference anymore, so I taped the cutoff piece back onto it and that allowed me to cut it perfectly at a 90 degree angle to the blade. So over at the table saw, I cut a groove from the rear of the seat and refined the final shape over at the bandsaw. And then I could round over the corners with a round over bit on my palm router. With a Forstner bit, I drilled two holes. And using a jigsaw, I cut from hole to hole, creating that slit that I really like. Next it was time to start mocking up the frame. And I'm using a seat bracket and shock absorber springs that I robbed from a donor bike. I tapped the underside of the seat and drove in quarter 20 bolts to get the tapping and the depth correct. Once the mock-up was done, it was time to start doing the final shaping of the seat. I used the orbital palm sander to do most of the shaping. It's basically a very slow version of power carving but I had more control over it that way so that I can get that butt groove that I was looking for going. That way my butt would be comfortable. Then a whole lot of sanding up to 220 grit and I was ready for the two part finish process. I'm using Total Bolt products who are the sponsor of this build to start achieving that strong and super smooth finish. First I started using the penetrating epoxy to get into all the pores and to seal them up. This is a two to one mix and I made sure to mix each part thoroughly and then combine all the parts together. I added some denatured alcohol to thin it a bit. It's not necessary but I'll allow it to penetrate a little bit further into the wood and it goes on a little bit easier. And oh boy did it go on nice. At this point, I thought about just stopping and just being done because it just looked so good. But then a voice in the back of my head just said, no, go ahead and put on that Halcyon Clear. It's gonna look even better. So that's what I did. Now I don't know what happened if I just lost footage of me spraying the seat or if I deleted it somehow, but it's the same exact process as the frame which you see right here. I applied two coats of Halcyon, which is a clear flexible varnish, and I didn't need to do any more because at this point it looks so good. I let the finish dry for 48 hours and I was itching to start assembling this thing. The seat was actually the last thing that I put on the bike and it brought the entire build together. The fact that it's one solid piece and not bent lamination like the rest of the frame made it stand out but at the same time, it fit the entire design and the flow of the bike. But more importantly, and surprisingly, it was quite comfortable while riding. I think that the springs underneath the seat allowed it to bounce and absorb the shock during the ride, which makes it for an interesting experience. Overall, I couldn't be happier with this project. And if you guys haven't seen the bike build video yet, I'm gonna go ahead and list it in the description. So if you guys like this part of the project, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then in the comment section below, let me know what you guys think of it. And it helps me basically to make better projects for you guys and better videos. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I will see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs> like a little yeah. shaky, but I mean, once you get going, she's cruising. Yeah, dude. you look and like you were cruising. And it's fun.